Hey there, fellow humans. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often whispered about, misunderstood, and sometimes even feared, therapy. But don't worry, we're not here to psychoanalyze you through the screen or make you lie down on a virtual couch. We're here to chat about why therapy isn't just for crazy people. Spoiler alert, it's for everyone. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Me? Therapy? But I'm not running around in a tinfoil hat or talking to my pet rock. Well, guess what? Neither are most people in therapy. In fact, if you looked at a group of people in therapy and a group of people at your local grocery store, you probably couldn't tell the difference. Except maybe the therapy group would have better coping mechanisms when the store runs out of their favorite ice cream. Let's start by busting some myths, shall we? Myth number one, only people with severe mental illnesses need therapy. Wrong-o. That's like saying only professional athletes need to exercise. Sure, they might need it more intensively, but we all benefit from a good workout now and then. The same goes for our mental health. Therapy is like a gym membership for your mind. It's a place where you can work out your thoughts, stretch your emotional muscles, and maybe even shed some excess mental baggage. And just like physical exercise, it's not about being broken or sick. It's about maintaining and improving your overall well-being. Now let's talk about what therapy actually is. It's not just lying on a couch talking about your childhood while someone nods and says, hmm, how does that make you feel? Although if that's your jam, there are therapists who do that too. Therapy comes in many flavors, cognitive behavioral, dialectical behavior, psychodynamic, humanistic. It's like a mental health buffet. But at its core, therapy is a safe space where you can talk openly about your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with a trained professional who can offer guidance, support, and strategies to help you navigate life's challenges. It's like having a personal trainer for your brain, minus the intimidating muscle mass and protein shake obsession. But wait, you might say, I have friends and family I can talk to, why do I need a therapist? Well, my friend, that's an excellent question. While having a support system is crucial, Therapists bring something extra to the table. They're like that friend who always gives great advice, but with years of specialized training and without the bias of being personally involved in your life. Plus, they're bound by confidentiality, so you don't have to worry about your deepest secrets becoming next week's hot gossip. Let's break down some reasons why perfectly normal people, whatever that means, might benefit from therapy. One, stress management. Life can be a real pain in the neck sometimes. Whether it's work pressure, relationship issues, or just the general chaos of existing, therapy can help you develop coping strategies to handle stress like a boss. Two, personal growth. Maybe you want to be more assertive, improve your relationships, or figure out your life goals. Therapy can be like a personal development workshop, helping you become the best version of yourself. Three, processing life changes. Got a new job? Moving to a new city? Just became a parent? Life transitions can be tough, and therapy can help you navigate these changes with grace, or at least minimal flailing. 4. Improving relationships. Whether it's romantic partnerships, family dynamics, or friendships, therapy can help you communicate better and build stronger connections. 5. Self-discovery. Sometimes we all need a little help figuring out who we are and what we want. Therapy can be like a journey of self-exploration, minus the need for a backpack and hiking boots. 6. Dealing with past trauma, you don't need to have experienced major trauma to benefit from therapy. Even small negative experiences can impact us, and therapy can help process and heal from these. 7. Managing everyday emotions, feeling a bit too angry, anxious, or sad lately? Therapy can help you understand and manage your emotions better. 8. Developing healthy habits, whether it's breaking bad habits or building good ones, therapy can provide strategies and support to make lasting changes. 9. Gaining perspective. Sometimes we get so caught up in our own thoughts that we can't see the forest for the trees. Therapy can offer a fresh perspective on our problems. 10. Preventative care. Just like you go to the doctor for checkups to prevent physical illness, therapy can help prevent mental health issues from developing or worsening. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, but therapy is expensive, or I don't have time for that. Fair points, but consider this. How much time and money do we spend on other forms of self-care? We go to the gym, buy skincare products, treat ourselves to nice meals, all investments in our physical health and enjoyment. Isn't our mental health just as important, if not more so? Plus, there are many affordable therapy options out there. Online therapy platforms, community mental health centers, sliding scale fees. There are ways to make it work for different budgets. And as for time, many therapists offer flexible scheduling, including evening and weekend appointments. 
If we can find time to binge watch an entire season of our favorite show in one weekend, surely we can squeeze in an hour a week for our mental health, right? Let's also address the stigma around therapy. For some reason, there's this idea that going to therapy means you're weak or can't handle your problems. But here's the truth. Recognizing when you need help and seeking it out is one of the strongest, bravest things you can do. It takes courage to face your issues head on and work on improving yourself. So if anyone tries to shame you for going to therapy, you can proudly say, yeah, I'm working on being the best version of myself. What are you doing? Now, I'm not saying therapy is a magic cure, all that will solve all your problems overnight. It's not a quick fix or a one size fits all solution. It takes time, effort, and sometimes it can be uncomfortable. You might have to confront some hard truths or dig into issues you've been avoiding, but that's how growth happens. It's like working out. Sometimes it's tough and you might be sore afterward, but in the long run, you come out stronger. And here's another thing. Going to therapy doesn't mean you'll be in therapy forever. Some people might benefit from long-term therapy, but for others, a few sessions might be enough to gain the insights and tools they need. It's not about creating a dependency. It's about empowering you to handle life's challenges more effectively. Let's also talk about the ripple effect of therapy. When you work on your mental health, it doesn't just benefit you. It can improve your relationships, your work performance, and your overall quality of life. You might find yourself being more patient with your kids, more understanding with your partner, or more confident in your career. It's like dropping a pebble in a pond. The effects spread outward and can positively impact every area of your life. So how do you know if therapy might be right for you? Well, here's a revolutionary idea. If you're wondering if therapy might be helpful, it probably would be. You don't need to be in crisis or have a diagnosable mental health condition to benefit from therapy. If you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, or just want to understand yourself better, those are all great reasons to give therapy a try. And remember, starting therapy doesn't mean committing to it forever. You can always give it a try for a few sessions and see how it feels. If it's not the right fit, you can always try a different therapist or a different type of therapy. It's all about finding what works for you. In conclusion, therapy isn't just for crazy people. It's a tool for anyone who wants to improve their mental health, understand themselves better, and live a more fulfilling life. It's an investment in yourself, and let's face it, you're pretty darn worth it. So the next time someone raises an eyebrow when you mention you're going to therapy, you can smile and say, yep, I'm taking care of my mental health. It's like a spa day for my brain, but with fewer cucumbers on my eyes. Remember folks, your mental health matters. Take care of that beautiful brain of yours. Who knows? Maybe with a little therapy, you'll finally be able to assemble that IKEA furniture without wanting to tear your hair out. Now, wouldn't that be something? Stay mentally healthy, my friends.